Hello, everybody. A very, very good afternoon to all of you,、um, Dr. Tony Tan, distinguished guests, family and friends, and my dearest fellow Singaporeans. My name is Sharon Ao, and I'm very, very honoured to be given this opportunity to stand here today and to share with you my thoughts.、Um, but first of all, can I just see where's my mom? <laughs> She promised she'll be here today. And、uh, Mom, if you are here, can you wave? Okay, thank you.、Um, I'm actually very nervous, and you must be wondering why. Why is she nervous? Simply because this is the first time I'm participating in a rally, and I was thinking to myself, "Oh no, many of you out there might be scratching your heads, wondering who is she? What? Who does she think she is?" Um, or you might be thinking, what is this former TV actress, TV host? What does she think she has to say to us? So I would just ask for a few minutes of your time for me to stand here and to share with you what I truly feel about Singapore. Some of you may know that、um, I've been away for the past six years. I went to Japan, France, and Spain to pursue my university degree. And I was very gay kiang. I studied、um, international politics, international law.、Um, I did several modules of liberal arts, and I even learned three new languages: and French, Japanese, and Spanish, of course.、Um, it was my first time being being away and living away from home, from Singapore, on my own. And I immersed myself totally and deeply in an academic world. And to tell you the truth, I had never felt happier. I was free, and I felt liberated. But at the end of my university journey, I realized that it wasn't my accomplishment in school that I was most proud of. It was the experience of living in foreign lands, of watching how people in other countries lived, that moved me the most. And it is with this new eye-opening experience that propelled me to cast aside all my fears, all my insecurities, to come and stand in front of you today, because I want to share with you what I've learned. I learned that no matter how rich or how educated the people are, if there is no mutual love and respect for one another, then the community cannot grow together. I learned that no matter how prosperous a country is, if there's no graciousness in the society, then the community will not be a caring and nurturing one. I learned that. I learned that while it is our right, yes, to embrace and to express and to exercise freedom of speech, words can actually really hurt one another. And then the community we end up with will be one that has no faith, no trust, and even no hope. I learned that. I learned a lot of things, and I learned that no matter how far we have come today, if we don't have the humility and compassion, then the community will be empty. It will be a hollow one. And so I came back to Singapore four months ago, and. Frankly speaking, I was genuinely surprised at how much Singapore has changed. The skyline has changed, the MRT system has changed, and even the people have changed. I see now that Singaporeans are beginning to find their own voice. That you are more willing to step up and speak up for what you believe in, and I applaud you for that. And it is this that has given me the confidence. To step up here today, to to say what I believe in in my personal capacity, simply because I am a Singaporean. You don't have to thank me, <laughs> because I am a Singaporean, and I have a hope for Singapore. I hope for Singapore, a president who has clarity of vision, who does not only say what is clever, what is acceptable, what you want to hear. But I hope he has the maturity and quiet confidence to make the right decisions for us, however unpopular these decisions may be. I hope for Singapore a president who truly cares for us. 
someone who will listen to us. And most of all, I hope for Singapore, a president who will make a lasting difference for our families. Each and every one of us here in Singapore today, each of us holds in our hands one vote. And this vote represents a vote of hope. A hope for a better community, a hope for a better Singapore. And so whichever candidate you support, please vote wisely. Let's all just take a moment and think, and let's all just vote for a better future. Dr. Tan, I have confidence for the future, and I have confidence in you. Thank you very much.